I understand. I understand mm-hmm. what what kept you alive during that last deployment, during that last firefight, mm-hmm. uh, not being viewed as a coward, mm-hmm. um, making your parents proud, um, looking after your, your your fellow brothers in arms. Mm-hmm. But you you are one of the deadliest snipers in the game at this point. You you did six deployments. You saw combat in five of them. Mm-hmm. You already have 33 confirmed kills and at least that unconfirmed. What was it about that final? I understand what kept, kept you alive, mm-hmm. but I don't understand what was it at that moment during that deployment, which would have you that shook because you didn't seen it all and you made it yeah. back. You know what it was? I got cocky. I got, and, and it was the first time I was ever humble. I knew this about me as a sniper. I heard people, I heard rumors, hey, Irv is this guy is a sniper. He's good. He's got this many bodies. And it's not that it got to my head, but I believe, I, I did believe I was really that good. And that last mission that firefight i went up against the chechen sniper um i didn't know he was out there at the time i didn't find out until we were getting engaged by him i remember some reports about a a a chechen um mercenary who was supposedly out there he moved in that area Uh, i didn't believe he was going to be out there didn't you know expect it but and it was like the first firefight i ever had in daylight out of those five other deployments they were all at night um all the missions we did were at nighttime. So it was the first time we were ever uh, ever in, in daylight. Uh, we were already off schedule. And I was pinned down by a sniper who was, in my book, as good as I was. If not, no, I would say he was as good as I was. He wasn't better. Um, but the only thing, his downfall was the win. I know for a fact, if he would have had his win calculations down, he would have taken out my entire uh, five-man reconnaissance team who was with me that day. Uh, he was millimeters away from, you know, shoot me in my head on multiple occasions, just barely missing. But if he would have had the wind down, he would have tagged every last one of us. But it was the first time I was humbled. It was the first time I was ever on the receiving end of a sniper. I had never been on the receiving end of a sniper. I've never been looked at through a scope and shot at, I have been doing that, you know, for that long and I built a reputation from it. And it was the first time ever I had that table turn and I was going up against the guy who had way more combat experience. Um, I didn't know, you know, where he was for a few hours. I'm just getting shot at by a sniper and he was good. He knew how to move with the terrain. He knew how to go from different locations, never staying in the same spot for too long. Um, It was the first time I was like humble of this is what it's like. I have been doing this for so long. This is what it's like. And it's absolutely terrifying. It was everything I imagined, never felt. So feeling it for the first time. And they always say being a sniper is psychological. Like it's a, to be uh, engaged by a sniper, it, you, you are, Engaging someone as a sniper, it impacts them psychologically the most. You can shut down an entire unit um, with just one shot. You take out the commander and no one else is going to raise their head. They don't know where the shot came from. You can psychologically mess somebody up. Um, Being on that receiving end, I felt that. uh, The fear of fighting a ghost. It was a ghost for about three hours. And each, each uh, each shot that he took was an inch closer, an inch closer, looking at bullets snapping up, uh, around my guys. And it was absolutely terrifying. It was the most terrifying traumatic experience I've ever had in combat. I've watched bombs blow up. I've seen things happen to people that are will be considered traumatizing. I've seen weird stuff, but being pinned down by a sniper was the most traumatizing. And I have been doing it for months and months and months and became so good at it. I got in my own head thinking that when I'm on that battlefield, I'm the baddest thing out there. 
not having that control for the first time was, that's what shook me. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.